What's going on, everybody? This is James App from the Dapper Den Barbershop in Ridgefield, Connecticut, here with Dovo today. And we're going to show you how to trim up your beard with a straight razor, especially if this is your first time doing it. Thanks so much for joining us. This has been a topic that has been asked of me at the shop when I'm cutting hair and also has been asked online a couple times on how to actually trim up your beard or actually do a shave with a straight razor moving from maybe a safety blade or a multi-blade razor like some of you might be using at home and how to use a straight razor. I'm not gonna be doing a full shave, obviously because I have a beard and I'm not gonna take that down, but I am gonna show you how to line up your cheeks and where to line up your cheeks as well and how to use a straight blade a real straight razor while doing that. So the first thing we have to do is we have to prepare our face. If you're gonna be doing this, I recommend doing it when you get out of the shower in the morning. You can do it before you get in the shower. However, doing it after the shower, especially a hot shower, it's gonna already open up your pores, which you want the hair to actually be cut and not ripped out. So when the pores are open, the hair is most likely gonna be cut and not ripped out of your pores. And that has to do with the prep work as well. For the prep work, what we're going to do is we have all of our stuff here right now. We're gonna use some pre-shave by Parasso. We're gonna be using our Dovo shaving cream out of the bowl, which is very nice. We also have our nice Dovo display here. We have a Dovo, uh, Dovo brush. We also have hot water in here, which we're gonna be soaking this in in just a second. And we also have two blades. I'm gonna explain the difference between each blade and which is gonna be better for you to maybe start with. All right, so first things first, we're gonna soak this in warm water. You want this to be in warm water the whole time. So we're just gonna let that sit in there and just really kind of soak up that warmness. The second thing is we're gonna get a hot towel. Since I've not gotten out of the shower right now, I'm just gonna use some warm water or a warm towel just to warm up my face. So I'm just taking the towel, just using the leftover moisture, it's a pretty hot towel, and just putting it on my face, letting it warm itself up. Warm my face up, not the towel itself, the towel's already warm. So the most important part about shaving is the prep. I've said this a bunch of times, it's not about how close you can get, it's about getting how close you can get without irritating your skin. So we're gonna use this pre-shave right here, and what this is gonna do is this is gonna help increase the pH level of our hair, which is gonna make the hair a little more brittle and a lot easier to cut off, as opposed to ripping it out of the skin, which is when you get irritation. And if you do have a beard like I do, you can get it in the beard, don't worry, it's not gonna harm you. It also just feels really nice. Now, while you're waiting for that to just kind of absorb into your skin, if you've got some time, you can start stropping your blades. Very important to strop your blades. Again, stropping is not sharpening. I've said this before in past videos, but it's very important to understand that stropping is not sharpening. So we do have two different types of blades here. We have the Dovo Diamond. I believe I'm saying that right, Diamond. Uh, round tip on it. I believe this is 5 8 I could be wrong, but I believe it's 5 8 This is kind of the classic one that you'll always see. And this is gonna be difficult if you're just starting out shaving. However, I'm gonna do one side with this and one side with the other one I'm about to show you, which is a Barbarossa. Now this is my, uh, my signature one with my signature on it but you can see it's a lot shorter and it's a lot easier for beards to get into those hard to reach places. This is a square point though, so it's gonna give a little more um, control for myself. I prefer a square point over everything else or if you wanna get a Spanish point which has got the little notch in it. But I'm gonna do each side with, uh, one side with each blade. So let's drop these up. Now that we have both our blades stropped and the pre-shave has set in, you don't need to leave the pre-shave in that long. You can usually do it for like 30 seconds if you want to. It's just, and you don't have to wipe it off either. Just leave it in. It's really just gonna absorb into the skin, open up the pores a little bit, and most importantly, soften up the hair, which is what we wanna do. 
The next step we're gonna do is we're gonna take our shaving cream here. This is the uh, Dovo shaving cream. The style is deep leather. It smells like deep and it smells like leather. So now our brush has been soaking in here. Some warm water. Bring it out. Let's get this off here. And we're just gonna kinda create a lather here. And you see I'm holding the brush, I'm really getting it in there. Don't be afraid to really work it in there. Now some people say they'll use gel, which is not a problem. You can absolutely use gel. You can probably see a little bit better if you're using gel, which is great. However, shaving cream is important because it's increasing the pH level of the hair, like I was saying before. This is all prep work you do to get the best shave you can possibly can without irritating yourself. So we're just gonna lather up our face a little bit. Again, leaving the pre-shave on, not a problem. Now I'm gonna do both sides, even though I'm probably gonna have to re-lather this up, but at least I know it's softening up the hair. Again, I can get into the beard, don't worry about that. It's gonna wash out. I love this little Dovo set here too because I got a nice little spot I can keep my uh, stuff. Overall, I think this is a good look for me. Jorge, what do you think? You think this is a good look for me? It looks great. Yeah, yeah I think it looks good. I think I should. All right, so I'm gonna take off my ring because I just don't want anything getting in the way here. Now we're gonna start off with the diamond blade, which I said is gonna be a little bit more difficult, and I'm gonna show you this one first. When I go to the Dovo, or I'm sorry, the Dovo, when I go to the, um, the Barbarossa, that how much easier it's gonna be with the Barbarossa, especially with a beard, but you can use both. First thing you should know, stretch the skin. You need to stretch the skin, it needs to be taut, or else you're gonna start grabbing hairs, or grabbing your skin, I should say, and wind up cutting yourself. So stretch the skin and always protect your eye. So I like to start off right here. Really stretching the skin. I'm just going little by little. You need to be aware that this whole thing right here is a blade, okay? So really be careful of where you're going. Take your time, go slow. Just go until I can feel the hair kicking back on me. Cleaning it off on a towel. I'm gonna to wipe this side off, see how it looks. Yeah, not a bad line. And people do ask me a lot. They say, uh, how do you find your lines? Now that's, that is completely personal preference on where you wanna put your lines. I like to keep mine a little bit higher than if it came off the corner of my lip and went up. If you can kind of see, nobody can really see the corner of my lip. This is the corner of my lip. So it kind of just goes up a little bit higher than that. That's where I like to keep mine. This is a little trick that you can also do because your face is still wet. You can do with, uh, with no shaving cream. As long as there's something to glide across, you can find your line a little bit better and tighten that up. Much cleaner now, love that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other side. Now I'm getting a little bit uh, dry here. You can see it's very tacky right now. That's not what you want. Dip in some water, 
at this. I'm actually loving this uh, shaving cream. This is the first time I've used this, and it smells very nice and feels good, too. So now we're going to switch to the Barbarossa style one. I'm going across my body, which is going to be a little bit different. It might be difficult. That's usually the hard part for people is doing that. But you can see it's going to be a little bit easier. A little bit easier with a smaller blade because I've got a little more control over everything now. And also just take your time. Let the blade do its work. You don't have to do much. Because I'm coming across my body like this, I need to hold the blade a little bit different way just to make sure I can get everything. You don't need to put too much pressure on it at all. Again, let the blade do all its work. Coming back here, I'm looking at how symmetrical it is. Now we're cleaning ourselves off with the towel. Better use a cold towel here because you want those pores to close up. Then we're just going to use a little aftershave to close up and clean out the pores. All right, so let's go over what we just did here. One, we had to prep our face, which is important with pre-shave and lather. That's increasing the pH level of your hair so the, the blade can glide across your hair and cut the hair as opposed to ripping it out of the skin. Number two, the blades, different types of blades. You can use a longer blade like the diamond, which I love. I do love the black on this as well. Very, very nice. Or you could use the Barbarossa, which you have a little more control over and you don't have to worry so much about the corners. It is a very, very nice blade. It's also got my signature on it, so I think it does better. Jorge, agree? Yeah, he's nodding his head. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you for doing that. The prep work and then taking your time. Take your time and stretch the skin. This is not a race. Let the blade do its work. I understand that it is a terrifying thing. It is a, for lack of a better term, it's a sword you're running across your face. It is very, very sharp. But take your time and use the straight razor to your bent. Let it just do its work and find those nice tight lines. You'll feel it start to kick back and get nice crisp line. This is a part of the art of shaving. This is what, this is what we start to lose. There's a, there's a nice feeling of just being able to do this like our, our ancestors, our grandfather, our fathers, our great, great grandfathers used to shave with a real straight razor and just lining up your beard. You can still enjoy shaving with the beard because you do need to clean up these cheeks sometimes. Uh, also another thing is the nice setup that Dovo has here. Or if you want to come down here, check this out. If you got a you're sharing a bathroom with your wife or your missus, once you're done, assuming you have one blade, that's it. Your setup's all set. You can clean all this up afterwards when you need to. Wash this out, dump the water, but everything's all set up and ready to go. That is how to trim up your beard at home. I hope this was helpful for a majority of you. If you have any questions at all on how to do this, please leave a comment down below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, give us a shout out on Instagram and stuff like that. I'll leave the Instagrams up here and here and here if we got enough room in the shot. I hope we do. And uh, check out the websites. We've got the Dapper Den website and the Dovo website. You can purchase any of this stuff at the Dovo website. Go ahead and do that. Purchase some stuff, treat yourself. Holidays are right around the corner. Maybe buy your significant other something very nice as well. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.